Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I'll be going through some of the common issues and errors and problems that occur with the Corsair Vengeance RGB program. So, let's get straight to it. First little error that comes up, this happens to me rarely, but still does come up, so I will address this issue, is when the RAM just does not allow itself to be controlled, nothing works on it, you cannot do anything, and it's indicated with this little red triangle right next to it. What I do is go onto settings, click on the RAM from the device list, go on to update, then after it says update it will it might come up with this if you haven't updated it yet, but if you have already then force the firmware update, click update again. It'll take about thirty seconds to about two minutes I guess. It works quite quickly then you don't need to restart the program on your PC or anything else it'll just work, so as you can see this happens at the end and there we go, no red triangle and you have all the access you have you had before you had the error so that's error number one another issue that I have been getting people talk to me about it is that they don't have the custom effects in the effects menu so to enable these effects, what you have to do is you have to go onto the actual settings, click on your RAM, and then enable full software control. Once you've enabled this, you can then access all of these custom effects, which are really useful if you're trying to make some nice effects. Third one I have is the other software can be causing issues and interrupting the RGB on IQ. So for example, we have MSI Dragon Center, if I go onto Mystic Light and if I go onto the DRAM, as you can see, I can add these effects from Dragon Center, but we don't want that because these effects, let's be honest, aren't as good as IQ. So, what you want to do is go onto third party RGB, Mystic Light will overwrite third party RGB software after system restart. You definitely want to disable that because then you should just have it off, or even if you have it steady, then IQ will simply just overwrite that and it won't even take Dragon Center into consideration. Next is if another program is acting up with the RAM, so for example a game or something, then what you want to go onto is settings and then enable SDK. If that's enabled, this is basically SDK stands for um, Software Development Kit, that's what it was and it allows other programs such as Wayper Engine and games to control the RGB on the RAM but if that's somehow messing up then I would definitely take into consideration just turning that off as that would just allow you to create your effects without any issues next up is if your RAM I'll show you over here if you created an effect let's say this and as you can see on the visualization it goes a steady wave and on the RAM in real life it doesn't look like that at all as you can see the waves are going everywhere what you want to do is go into your dim setup and I would consider making a dim arrangement um, profile or something like this that each each stick has their own lighting solid effect and you go on to dim setup and then change them up as they are so you go on to dim 2 and as you can see dim 2 is there then blue is the first dim there you go red is the second dim and there we are nope this one has to be changed over there we go so now all the dims are as they are in real life. If we go back to uh, this, we can see that there's still an issue going on with their orientation. So we'll go back, but at least now we know that they are in order, first to last. So we go back to dim setup and use something like create a profile like this where it is simply 
just a simple wave going straight down, straight up, 90 degrees. And go to your dim setup, and then you can see that dim 1 is going up as it should. Dim 2 is currently not going up as it should, so you click this rotation, and you see it goes up. Dim 3 is as it should be, it's going up, so then it leaves us with dim 4. There you go. And it's all in order, all arranged. Now if we go back to something like this, you can see it's as it should be, as you have created it over here in the effects tab. So effects like this would work. This is a nice little cyberpunk um, effect that I've created. There we go, everything is properly configured. So those are all of the common issues and problems that I know people are experiencing and I personally have experienced. Let me know if this video helped you. Do please consider subscribing, leave a like, leave me a comment. I'll be reading comments, responding to any questions you guys have as usual. And yeah, thank you for listening. I'll see you in the next one.